Hi. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. Oh. Say hi. Hi. Say hello. Say hi. Oh, you can't see you very well. I'm a pretty torty girl. I'm a pretty torty girl. Here. Hi. Oh, look at you. Say hi to everyone. Yeah, say so we have had a long two days. Um, I haven't filmed in a couple days because of this bunch. Um, and really, they have been sleeping like 90% of the time because they have been through an ordeal. Um, as probably a many of you know, Arkansas is um, flooded. <laughs> I mean, it's insane, and it's not funny. It is, it's very sad. Um, but we are under a natural disaster, I don't know. They keep sending out all kinds of alerts, and the National Guard has been called out, and it's, it is insane. I mean, there are towns that are completely underwater. Um, it is very scary and sad. Uh, we're safe here, where I live, um, but getting places... Oh, it's insane. Um, but there is a shelter that completely flooded. Uh, they did evacuate all the animals um, from the shelter. And they are at a middle school. Um, uh, but they, um, there is like a ton of damage to the shelter. And so it's going to be a long time before they can go back. And anyway, last week actually um i got a phone call from the head of my local shelter um and she said uh and for reasons i'll get into in a little bit i cannot use um names town names it's crazy this whole experience has been crazy um look say hi say hi uh but i got a phone call from her and she said hey uh, we have pulled all the ones that we can. Uh, we have a capacity limit and legally we can't pull anymore. There are still, at that time, I think she said there was like 40 something. No, no. I don't know. Are you trying to nurse? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, but by the time I got there, there were, it was down to, uh, in the 20. I can't remember exactly how many. Oh, this one. No, you cannot nurse. And you just had a bottle. You're not even hungry. Um, and she said, and you're the only person I know with a private um, license. And private licenses don't really have capacity uh, requirements. Uh, that's silly. I mean, uh, it is. But it's, the, it's true. Here, I don't know if that's like everywhere, but in Arkansas, they don't. There's not a capacity limit on private um rescue what oh, no, no. and she said me and another person that works here at this shelter wanted to know if you could set us up as one of your fosters so we can go and get some more of them and, and you know and they would foster them say, like out of their house um you know just like any foster does uh she said because you know, time is running out on how long that they are going to keep them. And, you know, we have the space. And I actually, one of my fathers, Patty, had just had all her kittens adopted out too. So, she was empty. And she was actually going to take... I didn't know that bug some of mine, but that's okay. Anyway, so we said, okay, so she set me up with the coordinator director. What are you doing? Oh, and we'll tell them your name. You got names, didn't you? Um. Anyway, and so I called, and she said okay, and we had I had to fill out all this paperwork. You know, it was emails and oh, all this stuff. It. I mean, to rescue animals takes so much paperwork and so much red tape. Um, which I guess is good because then they're not just giving them to anybody. But so all that had to be done first. So that wasn't all completed until Tuesday. And so, then Tuesday, we all loaded up in, in um, the car, 
and went to get them uh, or just see you know we didn't know what we were gonna see when we got there that kind of thing and let me tell you it's insane um because you're met at this barricade like most of this town is underwater um now and you can't go in it i mean there's like barricades but where we were going there's like you go through and there's a checkpoint and you have to turn in like you can't film anything because i thought i was gonna film it um no 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 uh but you can't uh you can't take you know and you have to sign these waivers and it's insane um so we got there and there were i really want to say 20 some 26 30 um cats and kittens left uh and i was just like oh that you know that's not near as many as there were and i was happy about it so um patty my foster got a mom that had had nine babies they were like a week old nine babies that's just crazy to me and then um the other two got um another mom i don't know what i'm gonna do about this they all keep trying to nurse they think that sophie that's sophie by the way is their mom um but she's not i know uh so anyway long story short these five kittens were the only ones left after everybody um decided who they were going to take uh and they had them all like there there was no i mean there was kind of a quarantine like they had them kind of by size but i have no and they don't they didn't know either i have no idea if these guys are really i mean i'm sure the tuxes or i don't know actually if they'd be considered tuxes but i'm sure they're related they look almost identical except for the nose um but i know sophie isn't related <laughs> to them um but like i said these were the last five left and so because i actually was not going to get any i was just going because it was my license and i had the paperwork and the vet um certification you have to you know have this thing that says you have a vet you use and da 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 no guys i know i don't know what i'm gonna do um, they just started this today, too. They haven't actually tried to nurse on her before until today. Um, but I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave them. Um, with, you know, because no one could tell me what was going to happen to them. And they didn't have any more people coming. Um, they didn't have any other appointments made for people to come. And there was just five. Uh, and I, could, I couldn't leave them. They'd already, they were so, you should have seen them when they first got here. They were exhausted. You know, because first of all, they go to a shelter, and then this shelter floods, and then the, the National Guard came in and, like, um, moved everyone. And then, so then they're in this big, huge room, and they're all in, like, crates like this, just, like, lined up. And they just, you know, I couldn't leave. I, anyway, uh, I, you know, just, that I couldn't leave them. Um, so, hmm, these are the flood kittens. Say hi. Say hi, hi, hi. Okay, and then I have already named them. They're all named after supporters, or the supporters have named them, um, either which way. But this one, the floofy one that looks like a baby figlet, is Sophie. Yes. And then the one with the most white on its nose um, is Lola. And Lisa Augustidis picked uh, Lola. And then, oh, sorry. And then the torty girl is Janet. And those are the girls. And then the boy that has, oh, Chica. Chica, Chica. The boy that just has the white, um, oh, sorry. On, there is a fly, I mean, oh, the flies. And I know it's because it's so wet and hot here, it, but the flies are killing me. Um, oh, what is it? Hold on. I have to check. 
Oh, well, actually, I'm going to stop for just a second because then I can just splice it together and I don't want to edit. Hold on. Okay, we were having issues at, um, with the, well, I call them the church mice, but they have names too, but the little gray ones were having issues. So, anyway, um, the one with the just white stripes, this one, is, um, Raymond, uh, or Ray. Stop it, Chica. Oh, my goodness. And then the ginger is Ben. Can you say hi, Ben? Can you say hi, Ray? No? Okay. And it's, so it's Ray and then Ben and Sophie. Hi. Say hi, Sophie. And Lola and Janet. And I don't know why Janet is just sitting at the water dish, but I will find out. Um... But that's all for now on these kittens because I also want to film uh, the other little ones because I also gave names to the church mice kittens. That's what I call the little malnourished kittens because they look like little mice. <laughs> Ray is quite fierce. Is not scared of Tika at all. Oh, bless you. Oh, Sophie does not like Tika. Did you see that puff? Look, I mean, does that not just look like a baby figlet? Say, I look just like a baby figlet. Mess and all. Just mess and all. They were. They were so messy. They had fleas. They were dirty. Oh, but they have been cleaned up since then. Say, we've been cleaned up since then, huh, Ben? Are you precious? I know you're precious. Are you precious? Are you precious? Yeah, I know. But, and I am going to make this a little bit better, but like I said, they slept most of the time, and so they didn't really play that much. Um, so I am going to make this nicer, but for now, it's going to, it'll be fine. I know. What are you doing? Where are you going, Rebel? It looks like it's none of your business where I'm going. Because Rebel is a rebel. And they say, excuse my face, I just had a face bath. <laughs> where are you going? I know, we have to tell everybody. Oh, there's one of your brothers. Hi. Hi. Were you playing with Fig? Mm-hmm. If their eyes look funny, it's because I have to have the uh, light on, on the camera, because it is stormy here, which is really what we need, more water. Um, and it is so dark. Uh, it's very dark. What, what is it, Figlet? What is it? Oh, Are you going to get Chica? Hmm. Anyway, I wanted to tell everybody the church mice's names. Yeah, mm-hmm. And they are at 13. Well, actually, Miss, this is Miss Bianca. Um, they're named all after mice. <laughs> um, this is Miss Bianca from the Rescuers. Uh, and um, Miss Bianca is 14 and a half ounces. Yes. And then, um, oh, be careful. Be careful, be careful. And then this is Templeton, yes, from Charlotte's Web. And um, the other little one is Fievel. I cannot film Fievel right now because Fievel is asleep uh, in a pile of clean clothes in the laundry room. And the laundry room is a disaster area and I am not filming in there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is just today's laundry that's been clean and folded. And I had to stop because um, Fievel was asleep. Oh, yeah. Rebel, get her. Get her. Look, Rebel's getting Chica. Yep. And Rebel has gained every... Okay. It's just amazing. Everyone has gained weight. Um, knock on wood. 
everything wait but i have learned a trick and that is they are eating solid food and none of them will take a bottle um but they all have teeth so you can't tube them but um i have learned see this little dish oh what is that i don't know what that was guys um that little dish it because it's so shallow if i put kmr in it they drink it and it is amazing um i can't see i can't even fill it up i just have to put and you know enough to where their tongue wags they still hit the bottom and they drink it it's amazing it's wonderful so they have all gained weight um i do not know where billy is where is billy billy oh there's billy i knew billy would be somewhere say hi say hi billy is doing great uh billy is gaining weight billy scabs i think i said this before but it might actually be footage that i uh didn't use <laughs> but billy scabs on his belly i know show people your face say i'm learning to eat sorry people say we got food face yeah you just ate didn't you i know yeah I'll clean your face in a minute. Um, so I'm loving, loving meat milk. But Billy's scabs on his uh, chest have fallen off. Uh, and the one on his arm. The only scab he has left is on his shoulder. And it is small. Yeah. Say, but I'm doing amazing. Are you doing amazing? Said, you don't look amazing, but you're doing amazing. Um... Was that everybody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's everybody but Fievel. But Fievel's taking a nap in warm clothes. <laughs> what? Why are you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? Look how floofy Bianca is. You're so floofy. Hi. Hi. Yes, hi. You're so pretty. Um, so, there we go. That's their names. So, everyone in the living room has names now. I'm still working on the ginger's names. Uh, I will get those to you guys as soon as I can. Oh, hey, be nice. Oh, you're going to fall. Okay, okay. Take it over there. You're going to fall. Look, they are still so tiny. It's sad. But, they're, they're good. They're really good. Their poop looks amazing. Everybody's poop looks good, huh? Yeah. Yes. I know. So, that's good. Yep. And I, I will say, oh yeah, that's another thing. I will say, they are going through food at an astounding rate. And I know I ask this all the time, and I say this all the time, but if you want to send food please do um there's walmart i have a wish list at walmart and amazon that's in the description um we're going through food a lot oh there's a lot we're going through like 35 cans a day <laughs> oh goodness but i've actually gone through more a day so it's not it's that's not as many as we have before in the past but it would be greatly appreciated I know, I know, I know. Between the vet bills and the food consumption, but I don't care. It's for the babies. Yes, what is it? Oh, I haven't shown, I, I, you know what? I think that was footage I deleted too. I haven't shown everybody y'all's new home. Um, Sorry guys. It's been, like I said, it's been an insane couple days. Um, look, this is their new home, and they're all together, all five of them. Um, Fievel, Templeton, Bianca, Billy, and uh, Rebel all live together now in a deluxe condo. Uh, it is messy, but it works. Um, and this is what it looks like. And then they're... 
uh, neighboring the flood kittens who are asleep in there. So, yeah, that's what we're doing now. What? Oh, do you want down? I think Billy wants down. Oh, you are so mess dirty. Billy is so dirty. Everybody else um, has been sponge bath, but Billy, because Billy, like you saw, was asleep. No, Tika. Uh, so, Billy is really dirty. <laughs> but he'll get his bath. Yes, won't you? Okay. You want me to hold you? Come on. Okay. I got you. I got you. He's a good baby. What? What? Let's see your... Let's see. See, look, you can't even see. Here, be still. Just a second. Here. See, you can't hardly even see it like you could. It used to be huge. Yeah. See, it used to be huge. Okay, now... So, now, I got places to go, people to see. Alright, this video, I think, is already like 20 minutes long.